What's up YouTube, Vintage Bro here, and in this video we are doing a first impressions. The final first impressions of the summer season. Tonight we are looking at the series Bakumatsu Rock, which is actually two episodes in. And we are going to be looking at the series um, so far. Now, what is this show about? I know you're asking yourself right now. Well... Imagine if you lived in a time period where you had to listen to what the government told you to as far as music went. Imagine if any other music was outlawed. Ah. Well, welcome to the Tokugawa period where the idol group of choice is called the Shinsengumi. Which are two idols, okay? One is named Okita Soji and the other is named Hiji Hijikata Toshizo. Now, Shizo is played by Morikawa Toshiyuki, who I believe played Ramoru in Yudapri. He was a member of the Quartet Knight. Okita Soji is played by Kenshin Ono who was Kuroko in Kuroko no Basket. And our lead character is Sakamoto Uyamara, played by uh, Taniyama, Taniyama Kisho, who played Len Sukumori in La Cora del Oro, Peter Mopasso. And he played <clears throat> Natsuki Shinamaya in Yudapri. So, those are three of their main characters, who, by the way, uh, recently, those three performed at a Batsumaku um, Rock Live performance. So that's pretty interesting. Those are three of your main players. There's a couple others that you meet later, but we'll get into them when we do the actual review. Now, here's a big question. What do we think of the series so far? Well, uh... It's interesting because, okay, this one is rock based. Now, what's actually funny is to get ready to watch this tonight, I'm actually watching episodes of La Corte de Oro from Paso to get ready for doing Blue Sky later on. Speaking of devil, uh, this was an interesting one. The animation style is different. Now, if you're going to ask me what do I think of the... If, if you're going to ask me what, what do I put as far as some of the other series we covered, like Love Stage and uh, Dramatical Murder and, of course, Black Butler, that's a good question. I'm not going to tell you that it's better than Love Stage. The Love Stage, I think, is raising the bar, to be honest. That's just my personal opinion. It's good, though. It was a very good, and Taniyama's performance as Sakamoto was even more impressive. That just goes to show his range, though, because remember, he played the uh, <laughs> the music department snob, known as Len Sukimori, and then he also played the very bipolar Natsuki Shinomaya, I believe that's his last name. Anyway, that's Suki <coughs> in in Yuta no Prince Sama, and he'll probably be reprising that role in season three. So you definitely know that he has the range to do it. Is it his best role of the of them? No. <laughs> I will take him as Len Sukumori and Natsuki any day of the week. But, we've only been two episodes in, and I think we have a 13-episode run on this series. Let me double-check that for you real quick while I'm looking at it here. We have... Let's see if I can grab it. This one is a... Yeah, now you want to be a bitch on me, don't you? This one is going to be a 12 episode series, so we got some work to do in these next 10. 
and I apologize for by the way for looking that up, but sometimes you don't know ahead of time the number of episodes a series is going to be, and sometimes you do. In case you're wondering, Blue Sky, Le Corridor de Oro, Blue Sky is 12 episodes also. Just so you know when we do that one. But, um, <clears throat> back to Batsumaku, but, but, Bakumatsu, yeah. It's not bad, but right now, like I said, I'm having... The, the reason it's a hard, this one's hard to do with the first impression is because there's a lot of moving parts. Which is always the biggest problem because you're dealing with, here's this pop group. Here's, here's this person trying to get, uh, be able to play rock music in, in the capital. Here's these people that he meets who really I can't tell you their names offhand, which I, which I apologize for. He calls one of them Cindy, which is hilarious as all hell. Because when he, cause literally when you spell it, it's C-I-N-D-Y, which is a girl's name, and it's a guy. So that's a bit interesting. Um, like I said, the animation's really good. Story, like I said, the story is the big thing because of all the stuff they're throwing at you within the first two episodes. It's kind of like how in Udipri, in the very first episode of the first season, they did this to you. Bam, 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 bam. And then you have to try and remember everybody's name by the time you got into the actual series. Well, you're able to do that with you to pre because even though there was a lot of people, there was still a controlled number. You've essentially only had to really remember like six people in the first season because you only really had to remember the five members of Starish and Haruka Naname. Remember that? In this one, yes, you have the three members of this rock clique that we're going to get going on here. You have the two government idols that you have to remember. You also have the person who <clears throat> Sakamoto is working for in a restaurant, because oh, I'm afraid to mention that. Part of the story is he works in a restaurant because he's trying to, I guess, make the money to be able to get his career going. And you, you you have a lot. You also have his mentor that they, he's trying to find. You have you come to find out the part of the story is they're trying to find these peace souls, or trying to activate the peace souls, and essentially find the pure the, the pure and now the ultra souls. We've come to find out. So there's a lot of stuff to take in here in the first two episodes. They're only going to give you twelve. So you have to figure out quickly how you're going to be able to process all the information. Because as you can already tell, I'm having a hard as hell time doing it. After 12 episodes, I probably will be able to fi I'll probably be able to tell you everything. Plus, I'm going to write these things down after this week. Uh, <laughs> but the big question is going to be, are you going to want to watch it? I would say, in this case, <clears throat> wait until the series is completed. I only say that because this is one of those where they're throwing everything at you quickly. Now, I'm going to be watching all the episodes as they come out because of my, my blog series that I do. But for you guys, I would suggest wait. Hold off, because what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take everything in in one shot. When you do, though, you'll be able to go to Crunchyroll to watch it, of course, and anime-exceed.com. Those are two sites I'm always plugging, by the way, because those are the sites that I'm using to watch these series. <clears throat> um, but I do recommend that you hold off on this one until the whole series is completed and then go watch it since we you'll be able to digest everything in one fell swoop because otherwise you're going to try and watch this in your 
your brain's just gonna go <laughs> after the first two episodes. Mine pretty much has. This is like my sixth take doing this video. <laughs> hey, I thought I'd be honest. But anyways, this will wrap up the first impressions week. I would like to thank you for watching it. And I would like to thank you also for, um, as far as these videos go, for liking them or even disliking them. I don't care. <laughs> or even just putting up with them because this is, this is me. This is what I enjoy doing. This is one of the things I really have enjoyed do really doing for you guys is these first impression videos and as we get through these series is we're going to be really taking in a lot of information and we're going to be able to hopefully process the um how do I say this hopefully process everything in one fell swoop and I'm going to say this real quick just so we're clear even though <clears throat> Bakamatsu and Love Stage are both on Wednesdays. When I do the review for them, the one's going to be done on Wednesday and the other one's going to be done on Friday. Most more than likely Bakamatsu. So, we have a lot to look forward to because we have Sundays with Dramatic Murder. We have Wednesdays with Love Stage and also with Bakamatsu Rock, we have Thursdays with the Phantom Hives again. As we're going back to Black Butler, but this time we're going to the circus. And yeah, we're we're going to be solid for an entire week. The for the rest of the summer and then some. We got twelve up. We have twelve episodes with some of these. And ten otherwise. So, I hope you will be uh, willing to join me on this journey. Because it's going to be one hell of a ride this summer. Officially now I can say, the summer of anime has begun. Are you ready? I hope you are. Let's go kids. I'll see you all later. Take it easy.